I'm Dr. Christopher Thompson, the Director of Therapeutic Endoscopy at Brigham Women's Hospital. And uh, today we're going to talk about uh, endoscopic treatment of acute pancreatitis and uh, walled off pancreatic necrosis. Our agenda will be to cover acute pancreatitis and some terminology. We'll then move on to the endoscopic management of uh, pancreatitis and its sequelae, including um, endoscopic necrosectomy and then we'll briefly touch on some related conditions. Over uh, 250,000 uh, admissions occur in the United States each year for acute pancreatitis, and over 90% of these are due to alcohol or gallstones. Roughly 15% of these patients will develop severe acute pancreatitis. To make the diagnosis of pancreatitis, uh, two or three criteria must be met. Patients must have abdominal pain typical of pancreatitis, that's epigastric in nature, radiating through to the back associated with nausea and vomiting, and amylase or lipase over three times normal limits, uh, or pancreatic inflammation on imaging studies. Acute pancreatitis is characterized by intraacinar cell activation of digestive enzymes uh, with a systemic release of pro-inflammatory cytokines. Now, the early phase is typically thought of to occur for the first two weeks, and multi-organ failure in this time period uh, typically arises from excessive inflammatory mediator release. In the late phase, uh, that being after two weeks, multi-organ failure typically develops from sepsis due to infected pancreatic necrosis. Risk factors for severity of pancreatitis include age over 55, uh, obesity, pleural effusions, organ failure at, at admission, and uh, Atlantic criteria for organ failure are seen on the slide. Hemoconcentration is also predictive of necrosis, and this may be um, delineated by taking serial BUNs and also assessing the patient's hematocrit. Ranson's criteria and modified Glasgow scales are no longer used, as oftentimes it takes over 48 hours to calculate this, and it's a more complicated system. Risk of mortality has also been looked at. Uh, the BISAP score, which is the bedside index of severity in acute pancreatitis, um, has been shown to be very effective at identifying those patients at higher risk of mortality. And in fact, it's equivalent to Apache 2. Three or more criteria um, are associated with increased risk of death. This includes a BUN of over 8.9, impaired mental status, age over 60, pleural effusion, and SIRS. A simpler approach is to just follow BUN. A BUN of over 20 at admission uh, was associated with increased risk of mortality. Additionally, a rise in BUN of greater than 2 mg per deciliter at 24 hours was also associated uh, with increased mortality. On to terminology. Imaging is very useful to help categorize uh, different types of pancreatitis. Our first CT scan illustrates interstitial pancreatitis. In this CT scan, the pancreatic parenchyma is swollen and inflamed, and there is some uh, periparenchymal stranding. Perfusion is clearly preserved, and uh, this is seen in 85% of pancreatic cases. This CT scan shows an acute pancreatic fluid collection. There's no wall surrounding the fluid collection, and these are typically seen uh, in under two weeks from uh, onset of maximal symptoms. Uh, this fluid collection may or may not communicate with the pancreatic duct, and 85% of these will resolve spontaneously. This CT scan shows a pseudocyst. This is a fluid collection that is walled off with granulation tissue. These are typically seen after four weeks, however, walls may form earlier. 85% of these also resolve spontaneously. In this side, we see um, a walled off fluid collection. However, there is a, a low attenuation area suggestive of air in the fluid collection, and this is typical of a pancreatic abscess. These can arise from a pseudocyst or in walled off pancreatic necrosis urgent drainage is typically needed. This CT scan is typical of pancreatic necrosis. There's a presence of one or more uh, diffuse or focal areas of non-viable pancreatic parenchyma. And you can see this is the underperfused areas of the pancreas, the darker areas as seen in this uh, patient near the pancreatic neck and body. Perfusion is clearly not preserved. This is seen in 15% of cases and typically occurs within four days of maximal symptom onset. And this CT scan has a walled off collection of, of uh, necrotic pancreatic tissue, and this is typical of walled off pancreatic necrosis 
or organized pancreatic necrosis. It's semi-solid uh, with areas of dead pancreatic tissue. And in this um, CT scan, you can see a very uh, small area of viable body tail pancreas that, that is still preserved. This can be seen as early as three to four weeks and uh, can also evolve into an abscess. We won't talk about the difference between uh, sterile and infected pancreatic necrosis in coming slides.